Hey there. So I'm not doing anything fancy, like no fancy makeup, although the lipstick is kind of fancy, so that's some fun coloring. Um, I have, what do I have? Um, Purple Rain, two coats, and one coat of Violet, which is discontinued, but who knows? Senegens has been surprising us with lip sense colors lately. Um, and that's really all I can say for what's going on with my face right now. I tried. I did the, the basic skincare is there. Um, but I was just trying to do, like, I couldn't decide, do I go on YouTube to do this review or do I do it on my Facebook page? I went with my Facebook page. It's covering, um, what is it? Sorry, it's windy out. Um, wasn't. It's better lighting than I get inside. Magnetic false eyelashes. So, Groupon, no maker attached. Um, so I was going to review these on my page and I was like, ah, do I do that? Do I do YouTube? So, like, I'll do that and maybe I can figure out how to share it to YouTube. But the benefit is, after 18 minutes on my page, it's just like I took them out of the box and I couldn't apply them. So I figure maybe I'll have better luck on YouTube. So it'll be just like a review, almost fresh out of the box. So got these on Groupon, figured what the heck, why not? Um, you know, use my own lash extensions and, or not lash extensions, but our lash extend to which like peptides and magic happens and then within two weeks you can start to see your eyelashes grow. I have before and after pictures, works wonderfully. Um, add some undersense with your mascara that we have and get that extra pop and you know curl them, whatnot. I could do that or I could just take what Facebook tells me, like my little news feed, like try these magnetic lashes, pop pop, and then you're good to go. <laughs> sure. <laughs> And it could be that I'm just have two left hands, I'm right handed, I don't know. Um, but I have directions. This is all it came with on the back. Um, I have tried multiple ways of doing this, but I will start with the directions. It says, first step, use the tips of your hands to hold the base of your eyelashes. And when they talk about eyelashes, they're talking about the magnetic kind. Attach the upper lash to the top of your lashes. Keep in mind, magnets need magnets to attach. So I don't quite understand this. Like maybe if I had mascara on, then it would have something to cling to, but I don't. So I've dropped them a couple times on the ground. I've picked pine needles out of them. I mean, whatever. I'll give it another college try again. Um, so once they're like hanging out there floating where they're supposed to magically stick, then you lower the lashes and upper lashes. Lower the lashes and upper lashes. So I think you're supposed to kind of go like that. And then it says, gently rub two lashes to adjust the position. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So now if any of you have done this successfully, leave a comment below. Tell me what I'm doing wrong. I'll follow the directions the first time. I would love for these to work. Because I admit there could be a learning curve for like anything. Okay, so, I'm sorry, you're looking like right up my nose. I'm trying to figure out how to do this. Maybe I should have curled my lashes. Oop, there they go. Oh, on the table this time. I learned from past mistakes. Um, but yeah, they like don't really want to just chill out of my eyelashes. Maybe I'll try the other one. I'm not left-handed, so I started with that eye and then kind of, hold on, I'm waiting for the wind to stop. I'll try it my way while the wind is going, because... I'm not going to let these bad boys just blow off into the distance. Um, so, you know, I kind of thought like, oh, maybe, f oh, I keep scratching my eye too. Hazard. They don't put like, take out your contacts or wear protective hard lenses first or whatever. Um, there's no warnings. It just says, here are the four steps and like, it's magical. So step one, two, three, and four kind of all combined. Oh, so close. Oh, and the other beef that I have is that they're like straight across. My eyes, as most people do, kind of curve. It would be much easier. Holy moly. Okay, it's pinching the top of my eyelid. All right. You know, all I had to do was say it couldn't be done, and it's not ideal. Let's see. It says to rub them into place. So, ah. Oh, uh, yeah. See? I was so close, but you could still see some of my lashes. And my disclaimer is, I cannot, I mean, I've only tried to use false eyelashes like twice. I can't get them so they're not like one side hanging down like that and looking goofy and like power to the people who can. There are people out there that 
like do do and they're all done i am not one of those people i sell makeup i am not an esthetician i am not an artist on the makeup form studio art minor but like this stuff i have no technical education background in it okay so all right let's okay so here we are oh, man I really wanted to go farther back but I mean I think that this is starting to look right you can see the magnets um, and again it goes straight across like it should curve if you're a designer out there and you want to like reinvent these it's a common sense suggestion but um, and it's still kind of poking let's see I really, really, really want to fix this. And then the other thing that bothers me and somebody who is into, like, makeup and beauty and all that, like, who does fake eyelashes, tell me otherwise. But I feel like they should go, like, start where your natural eyelashes start and not be, like, who has eyelashes from there down. Um, but anyway, I kind of did it. I'm looking in my own personal mirror. I mean, it's like my eyes are have, like, a weird ge ugh, geometric shape, I feel like, because... It is going across and straight and it doesn't want to bend. Maybe it'll bend over time. But I feel, besides the fact that I see like this black halo, half halo, I feel fairly good. I mean, who doesn't want lashes? The next test will be what do they look like when I have my glasses on. Um, so let's pick out the other ones. I feel kind of sassy. Like it only took half an hour to figure out and totally not follow directions and get them to work. So we'll give it another whirl. So they do come with some sort of like that gluey adhesive stuff that you'll see with like credit cards and stuff to hold them in place and letters it comes with that so you can pick them off and if you take care of them they should last for quite a while I don't feel like they specified I just feel like they said like yeah take good care of them and they won't be like immediately disposable okay so let's see if we can make magic happen twice uh, so I oh right in the eye um, and maybe with my glasses on too, they won't look as, like, I, you can, it'll hide some of the goofiness, because I do feel like the angle is kind of weird. I'm trying to show it on the camera, but the camera's angled slightly like that, um, just because how I have it leaning, but, cause, ah, I mean, once I get these on, I'm never taking them off. I wonder, like, actually, that'll be a good experiment. Do they stay on all day? Like, do you sneeze and they fall off? <laughs> that would be awful. Like, oh, there's a caterpillar in my suit. Oh, wait, it's just my eyelash. Oh, man. Oh, and these are little magnets, too, and there's a breeze, but that's really not affecting me because, yeah, like, seriously. I'm getting used to the other one kind of. Maybe it's just me. I'm one that I can't, I can wear tinted contacts, but I can't wear like the colored contacts because I'll get a halo around. I don't know, maybe I have like big irises or something, wherever you see out of. Ah, in my eyes, scratching my cornea, I don't know. Ugh. I am overdue for an eye doctor's visit. Oh, this is so close. But this end is not at all close. Again, you can see the magnets. Like, I don't feel like you should be able to. So, look at the construction. And I realize there's polarity and all that. But wouldn't you face... Like, here's the back of them. And it's going to be so hard to see. But the back of them has, like, the eyelashes on it. So it's glued from the bottom. and the So the top which is bumpy is like sticking out like wouldn't you face them so that even on the top that it's like the bumpy part to the bumpy part I feel like your natural lashes would fit fine inside um okay here we go let's ooh I mean on a pain level it's only like a two so there's that oh man oh so close see and it like it does pinch I and mean, it doesn't hurt because they're just light magnets maybe I'll slide a little bit so you guys can see my struggle
I mean, return on investment, I'm curious. I mean, I know eyelashes, eyelash extensions are not cheap. But I feel like if this takes you five hours, what what's your hourly rate worth, you know? Like, what's your time worth? Oh, man. I guess the good news is I can share with my page that, like, I literally finally got one on. Oh, no. <laughs> Party foul. Hold on. Let's see. Oh, where did it go? Oh, see, this is not good. Let me get my glasses on. We might have a problem. <laughs> Let's see. Oh, oh, there it is. On the chair, not on the ground. Hooray for small miracles. And it's actually not touching my glasses because it's curled, so that is a plus. Yeah, I've so far given it one thumb down, mostly because my other thumb was occupied holding on to it. So I couldn't really technically do two thumbs down at the same time. Uh, let's... How did I do this? Like, I was just kind of maneuvering it kind of how I needed it to go. I can't believe, like, women do this on a regular basis and I know you do and I commend you like I just and like men out there partners women whoever like partner is a good word like appreciate your significant other if they take the time and energy to do stuff like this because it's not easy maybe they mystify it and they close the bathroom door or they just show up in your doorstep and say Look, I just threw something on. It's not that easy. Let's see. Oh. But I feel like if you have a good eyelash going, it forgives quite a bit. Like, you can not do much with the rest of your makeup and just like, ooh, my eyes look great. It's kind of like lipstick. Like, if I had no lipstick on right now, it would look like I just rolled out of bed. I didn't. Like, I actually had a meeting that I went to this morning. Oh man, my lipstick even matches my shirt. I didn't realize that. That was unintentional. Not my shirt, but my Lindsay. I'm a LuLaRoe fan too. I need to find background music. That would have been... Oh, come on. That would be fantastic. Just not happening. Or I need an extra set of hands, so... Like, who's really good at this? I feel like a child could be if they had the precision. My two-year-old, definitely not. But I feel like the little hands would definitely pay off. Oh my gosh, who uses these? Like, seriously, if you're out there, tell me what I'm doing wrong. Like, is it me? I don't feel like it's me. I feel like this should be easy. I'm not... Like, I'm of decent intelligence. Like, at least average. And if the average person can't put this on, maybe I'm just an apt. Like, maybe dexterity is not my thing. I'll own that. But, like, ah, right in the eye. Like, should you have to be... Should, should there be a minimum skill level required for this? I feel like no. I feel like, okay, make the... Do something to make it easier. I don't know what. Like, I would say, like, a little bit of adhesive, but I don't know. I'd probably still screw that up. Tell me how I can let it rest on my eyelashes, like, on the top. Oh, I thought I was so close. I, ow, it's pinching me. There we go. Man, it's that second magnet. I'm almost there. Let's see? Almost have smoky eyes. I just need some eyeliner, and I am good to go. Um, except for the fact that I wonder if I can, it says to just like rub them together to get the magnets to stick and to get it into place. I don't know what they're talking about because if I rub it together, like it's just going to fall all over the place. Okay. 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 It looks stupid. Sorry. Not a nice word. Sorry if there's children out there so it's just kind of let's see like I'm still within my eyelash so I'm not like it's not hovering out there it looks like it's hovering out there same with that one it looks like it's just floating into space like maybe 
I'll try one more time and I'll try doing it closer to the inside of my eye, like my nose, but it looks dumb. Um, Right in the eye. I feel like, let's see, yeah, I'm like going on over a half an hour trying to get these things on. Although, I mean, it took 18, probably 20 minutes with the first one, so I guess the second one I could expect like 30 because yeah, presumably I would have learned something from the first time around, but now it's like been so long that I feel like I've unlearned it. Ooh, ooh, so like right there, it's close, it's where it needs to be. Like if there was a two-part system, I think that would be awesome. Or maybe just put the whole mat, like put a magnet straight across so that I'm not fishing or some way to like gradually close it up so I can get like one side connected without both of them connecting. I I'm babbling. I wonder if my neighbor's outside, she probably thinks I'm crazy. Like who is she talking to? <sighs> oh, and why? So... Okay, last solid attempt here. And I don't understand like how it manages to pinch your eyelid without magnets being there. Oh, come on. Oh, man. So now I've got the back end where it needs to be-ish. It's just the front end. Like this is where I am not at all. Oh, 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 oh. here we go. And this eye, it actually looks great. Now I'm wondering if I can fix the other one. This is one of those things where it's like, oh, it's just a small tweak. But see, you can still see the magnet that looks not fooling anyone. But I feel like this eye is where it should be, and this eye needs a little bit of help. And I'm going to regret this decision. What just happened? I had both there. I'm going to be walking around like this for the rest of the day to see how this one stays and, like, cursing this side because it will not work. So, one... What did I just do there? Whatever it was, was like super genius. I Okay, so what I had done, I'm hoping it works the second time, I started from the outside of my eye and connected that side first because I feel like you can get a little more play with like the inside lashes as I say that. Maybe it was just that eye. Like I felt like the outside one is the hard part because there's not as much for it to sandwich or like that's where your control point needs to be because you know where it can go like how far you really want it to go on the one end rather than guessing on this side and then having it way out there so okay do, do, do. Like, what did you do with your day today mommy I know that's the question I'll get a daycare and I'll be like I sat outside for like hours trying to put eyelashes on that aren't mine and you're two, so I know that doesn't make sense, but even at 40, it doesn't make sense either. <sighs> Ugh, see? It, like, does that weird thing. Like, I don't know if you can see. It's, like, where it needs to be, and it's hooked onto eyelashes, but it just... It doesn't want to bend. Maybe because the magnet itself is so straight. I bet that's it. Last try. I swear. We're at 18 minutes, so... I've met my quota on the other one, because it took over 18 minutes to get the first one on, so, and then not well, but I did the second one in under 18, so that's got to mean something, right? So this is part of the problem. Magnets are flat. Your eye is not flat. So what was happening is, this was curling down, but this was still flat, and it doesn't bend. Like, your eye just is not a series of straight lines. Nature has its own idea of perfection. Sorry, engineers. Okay. Ugh. Keeping it clean. Okay. Last try. I keep saying that, but I really don't want to be sitting here. Oh, man. So close. I just don't want to to be like this like why I feel like if I at least wear them one day it wasn't like a total loss of course then I'd be mad at myself for not putting on makeup first and thinking that I could just snap these on and not do the rest of my face cause hey ah, I don't see this happening again on a regular basis oh 
that was my own thumbnail. Our nail extend works lovely too. It just, if you poke yourself in the eye, you can only get so close to your eyeball when you got longer nails. Okay, so let's try this. Okay, those are together. Uh, I feel like I botched this one too, but let's... Dude, seriously? Ugh. Whose eyelashes are like straight across? This gets into that whole bend thing. Oh, and the fact that I keep saying I'm done. Persistence. Like in the job interview process when they're like, what's your weakness? I'm a perfectionist. And I mean, given I kind of can only be so much of a perfectionist with this, but it's because I took it off and now I'm like, eh, I want to take it, put it back on. Oh, I'm going to mess this up. Let's see. I'm seeing my eyeball in ways that I never wanted to see it. Uh, oh, I thought I had it. I don't. <laughs> 21 minutes. See, like, Facebook doesn't tell me how long I'm going for. I can just go and go, and I'm like, gosh, I feel like this is forever. Now I know it is forever. So I'm taking it that, like, a video blog should probably not be my next step. But I'm happy to try other products. I mean, I've already... I personally watched one of my friends do this fantastic review of um, those stamp... Oh, ouch. Those stamp-on eyelashes, or eyebrows, which, again, like, never a good idea. The pictures make it look like a good idea. I don't know. Like, I feel like it's very deceiving, and it seems, like, this seems like a fabulous idea. Like, if I read this, if I was a business person, sitting around a big table, and somebody, like, sent me a piece of paper and said, Hey, how about magnetic lashes? No glue, no chemicals. You just magnet on. You go pop, pop, and go. And I would say, hey, that's a great idea. Let's invest millions. And, you know, the beauty industry is growing. Let's do it. That's, oh, man. So close. So look what happened. It's there. It's like if I can just wiggle that down. Oh, I think a victory dance might be in order. It's not perfect. It's never going to be perfect. But it's darn close. So what do you think? I should have taken a before picture. Yay, nay. Was it worth the effort? I'm going to say no. I'm still sticking with my, like, two thumbs down because I feel like with my mirror here, it doesn't quite work. Like, this one, I feel like it's okay on this side, but it needs to go a little farther out because my eye ends here and it ends there. And I'm not going to futz with it. And this one is still a little angular all the magnets are so anyway kind of two thumbs down like on a one to ten scale oh and this one is hitting my glasses so on a one to ten scale i would give it about like a two i didn't scratch my cornea for real i didn't go blind putting them in so that's success um yeah so thank you for hanging out with me and rock on tell me your stories i enjoy my facebook page too be Sting Lips. Thanks.